Panamera turbos look that quick, mate, is it? Fog. 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 That's a, that's a fog horn, by the way. Back on the 750 after the test ride on the new GSX S1000. Suspension feels firmer, the bike feels shorter. Uh, you feel like you're sitting closer to the front wheel, and it actually does feel a bit, the bike itself feels a bit smaller. Yeah, there will be a new F coming out, um, I didn't know that much. Um, so a bit of an exclusive there perhaps, maybe, I don't know, or maybe not, I don't know. Well, maybe it's the worst kept secret ever. But yeah, the new F should be coming out with luggage. Um, now whether that is to directly compete with the Z1000SX or not, I don't know, but uh, uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting, I'm surprised they uh, divulged that much information to be honest. It's good, it's good, they obviously know a little bit and they've been bugging, obviously been bugging uh, Suzuki enough to say, well look, you know, Kawasaki do it, so why don't you? Now, whether that's hard luggage or soft luggage, I don't know. If it's anything like that Hepco and Becker um, luggage, that's that's good. Yeah, this, this Translogic Quick Shifter is easily as smooth as the standard one on that new GSX S1000. Yeah, not as instant, obviously, with the uh, with the instant drive as you'd expect with uh, with a smaller engine capacity engine. Yeah, the bike feels the bike feels firmer. Speed, the, the seat is definitely firmer. Uh, the, the riding position is slightly more sport is, is a bit more sporty, a bit more sports bike like um, on the 750 by comparison to the new thousand. So if anyone's uh, if anyone's thinking about the difference between the two, yeah, yeah, a bit more, a little bit more pressure on your knees perhaps, and you, you, the pegs are slightly swept further up and back. 750 feels a bit sportier. Buck comparison where the thou the thou's got that slightly more relaxed riding position and uh, you know a bit more probably a little bit more comfortable. Doesn't have that instant pick up and go of course. So I think I might uh, hold off and see what the uh, see what the F's like. Hopefully that'll be coming out. Can only assume it's coming out towards the end of the year. That'll be uh, that'll be good to have one bike that kind of does one bike that kind of does it all would be uh, would be great. In the meantime, this has obviously got another year to run. I've got another year uh, on the agreement with this one, and then it's basically mine, or uh, or I chop it in for something else. So loads of options, perhaps too many. Perhaps there's too many options. Thanks a lot. Look at that. Not bad, that is it. It feels quite angry this by comparison. There's no doubt that thou is, uh, is, is is a fair bit quicker. But you know, outright pace isn't everything, as they say. Yeah, the brakes have got a better bite. The uh, the suspension isn't isn't as soft, um, not quite so supple. Feels a bit harder on this by comparison. So you get pegging off, and then you slow down. What's that about? Panamera 
that turbo, it's not that quick, mate, is it? It's only a little 750. It's not a bad bike this. It's not a bad bike at all. I guess that's the thing, you know, you need to, you need to think about what it is. What do you want out of the bike at the end of the day? Do you want one bike that does it all? Um, which maybe the GSX-S 1000F, the new one, could do if it takes luggage in a top box. Um, that would be that would be great. As I mentioned on the uh, GSX-S 1000 review, that I wonder if Suzuki have realised competition in the Z1000SX and that's why the subframe has now got that bolt-on section um, you know because you could now essentially replace remove and replace that with a newer one that's maybe a bit more supported uh, a bit more heavy-duty and uh, a bit longer and then lo and behold you've got something that's going to take uh, it's going to take two people on it so you know maybe there's maybe there's a bit of method in the madness there who knows but we'll, I guess we'll find out when that model's launched so this is just this is this thing's just angry. The full yeah, the full system on this helps to promote that uh, that angry image, I think. And uh, but it's certainly more buzzy. Um, obviously, the new the thow is is a lot smoother in in the way there is the power. This is obviously quite revvy. But again, it's not. It really isn't a bad bike. And that's a good thing about doing these back-to-back -back tests is that uh, you get to appreciate how good bikes actually are these days. So. If I could come down to one bike and does everything, include take luggage and pillion. It's got Suzuki on the tank and does what this and does what this does, then great. I think that'll be the uh, that'll be the way with the GSXS for sure. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I mean I think that could be the uh, that could be the next bike regardless, um, whether it's an F or whether it's the uh, the unfaired model. But I think looking at this, this is definitely the way to go. It was really good. Seriously impressive. And that blip is absolutely fantastic. Easily as good as anything else. Fifty. As fast as a Palomero turbo. Stuff that in your pipe and smoke it. Ooh, look at the fog. 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 That's a that's a fog horn, by the way. No more fog. It's all gone. Just over the water, see? Cold air of the water and the warm air. GMC truck. They're good motors them actually, those whatever they are. GMC trucks, that's what they are. Spink! Mr. Spink! Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! Now, I quite like those STs in um, Tangerine Scream, I believe, is the official colour. Um, but I don't think I could own one. Lovely when they're clean and polished, like that one. Um, I like it. But I just couldn't own one. I don't think. I don't know why. It's a bit like the BP Ultimate Green as well. That's lovely on the uh, Mark II RS, but I'm not sure I've got on one of them either. Well, I'll tell you one thing though, the, uh, the GSXS, it, uh, it probably would have buried that Panamera. Just a little bit more power top end maybe but uh hey not to be sniffed at that is a 500 horsepower car 
on my little 750. So yeah, anyway, that's a very brief overview of the comparison between this and the new Thao. This is still a bloody good bike. It really is. It really, really is. Right, people. Thanks once again for tuning in. And uh, there'll be more track prep antics uh, before Silverstone, I'm sure. And end of June that is, so hopefully we'll get some decent weather for that and it's not chucking down with rain. First track down in 10 years, we've been bloody lucky it's peeing rain, wouldn't it? It certainly would be. Certainly just be my luck. Right! Thanks for tuning in guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Catch you soon. Stop, stop recording.